United Wholesale Mortgage, just the very latest to come to market through a SPAC, the nation's second largest mortgage, mortgage provider, a listing through a $16 billion merger with a blank check company backed by the Goris Group. This makes this the largest SPAC deal in history. Let's bring in the CEO of United Wholesale Mortgage, Matt Ishbia, joining us from Michigan today. Uh, Matt, congratulations on the listing. Um, let's talk about the timing of all of this. It has certainly, no question, been a very strong year for SPACs, as well as IPOs, surprisingly. Um, why now, and what specifically are you going to be doing with the money raised here? Yeah, no, we're excited. We, you know, we're we're having a great year here. Obviously, it's been a troubling year in the markets in America, across the country, and, and in a mortgage company, we feel it's really our obligation to make an impact by helping more consumers. And with rates low, we've been able to do a great job with that. And we're excited for the future as well. And so we think that the, the opportunity to really level the playing field with us, we're the second largest mortgage provider in America, but helping educating consumers about that, hey, this is the best way to get a mortgage through an independent mortgage broker, whether they come to us or another lender, we're going to help you get a great deal. And so part of the money that we're raising is to really educate consumers, to drive marketing, and hopefully you know, take our business from not number two to number one here in the near future. Yeah, number two to number one uh, behind Quicken there in terms of wholesale mortgage lender in the country. Got about a third of the market share in that category. Uh, talk to me. It's, it's a very interesting time, I assume, to be in the mortgage business since we've seen interest rates so low. I mean, uh, talk to me about kind of the growth that you've seen here as we've gotten into this uh, environment we're in here with rates near zero. Uh, how do you expect that to change maybe over the course of the next couple of years? Yeah, absolutely. These are all-time lowest rates. And in our business, we've obviously had a great year this year, but we really shine in a purchase market where a lot of our refinance competitors, whether it's the largest lender in the country or other ones, they do a lot more refinances than us. We're really less cyclical. So in the mortgage business, we actually look forward to when, if rates do go up, we'll be able to help more people from a purchase perspective, actually grow our market share in that perspective. And so whether it's low rates or if rates are, you know, if the economy gets a little bit better, which we all want in America as an American, uh, we'll be able to really sustain our growth and hopefully even take more market share in a purchase environment. I mean, even with that said, we have seen huge growth this year uh, in the housing market, largely driven by those low mortgage rates. I'm curious what you have seen in the market. Has there been a, you know, in terms of the shift that we have seen as a result of these rates, it seems almost so counter to what we're seeing in the rest of the economy. Um, part of it is inventory, but of course, a lot of it is driven by rates. Yeah, you know, really low interest rates, everyone can save money. And so the, the, the benefit to the economy is if you're paying a mortgage right now and you could probably save $100 a month, that saves a lot of people money and you can use that for other things in your life. And so, you know, 30-year fixed rates in the twos, if you're not in the twos, you're refinancing. And if you're buying a house, you used to be able to afford a $300,000 house with a 3.5% rate, but now you can afford a $320,000 house with a 2.5% rate. So it gives more affordability. So it's more buyers are in the market. And obviously people that are refinancing, you know, you got to find an independent mortgage broker to, you know, get you a low rate close the loan fast, and, and really a seamless process with the technology that we have and some other lenders out there. And Matt, um, Zach alluding to the fact that you're, you're the second largest wholesale mortgage lender right now. You haven't been shy about your ambitions here to become the number one uh, topping Quicken. I mean, how, how do you differentiate yourself and what do you think is your advantage in the market that takes you to that number one spot? Yeah, no. So to be clear, we're the number one wholesale mortgage lender in the country. We've been for six consecutive years, but we don't do retail. Quicken is the number one overall retail and wholesale combined. And so what's going to take us to number one It's really just educating consumers, because when people realize that the best way to get a mortgage, it's cheaper, faster and easier to go to a mortgage broker. So you go to findamortgagebroker.com, you find a local mortgage broker and they shop. They send you to me at UWM or to Quicken or whoever the best deal for you is, but you get a lower rate. You know, our 30 year fixed rates in the month of November was two. 0.76, which is lower than the rest of the market. And so cheaper, faster, easier through a mortgage broker. And so when more people understand that, they'll go through the broker channel and we will continue to grow and eventually become the number one overall mortgage company along with the number one wholesale lender. Yeah. And you know, Matt, what's interesting here too, and I don't want to overlook this because originally we had you on last year, we were talking about the culture uh, at UWM here and why it's such a nice place to work. For millennials specifically, we had you on about the, the holiday party and gifting some employees Cadillacs through raffles. You have the chain smokers at your holiday party. How much of the culture do you expect to change here maybe as you become you know, a publicly listed company here and what might that do to change it? Because the other part of this, your story here uh, you know, you started the company back in 2003, a company founded by your father. You worked your way all the way up now to be running it. Uh, talk to me about maybe how it changes now uh, as a publicly traded company. 
Yeah, you know, so when I joined in 2003, there was 12 people at UWM, and now we have about 7,200 team members here. But the culture and the family atmosphere has not changed. So we were very small back then, and we're obviously larger now. That is the key and the critical. So obviously with COVID, well, of, most of our people are working from home. But when we get everyone back, we can have holiday parties like that again next year and do some great things. But we're still going to celebrate because this was the best year in company history. And we expect 2021 to be significantly better than 2020. And so we're excited about that opportunity. But the culture and the family, you can't change that. That's the secret sauce. If you start changing the family feel, the culture, the team atmosphere, you know, that, that, that's the problem. And so we're not changing that. And that's one of the key parts. If we're going public, the key thing is, you know, I'm going to still have the great majority of the shares and we're going to continue to run the business the right way for our team members, our clients and consumers across America. Okay, well, Matt Ishbia, certainly a new chapter for your company today, the CEO of United Wholesale Mortgage. Appreciate your time. Thanks for having me.